All right, how's it going, everybody? We are going to be doing some more bullshit low elo amateur casting. We're going to be hoping for the best. It, it's fun for me. I get a kick out of this. Uh, hopefully, everybody else does too. If not, go somewhere else. I don't care. Uh, so, we are going to be in for a bit of a treat. Uh, I like doing these live time. Not uh, previously uh, recorded content. That way, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. It makes it a little bit more exciting for myself. So we're in for a bit of a treat. We are doing a bronze ranked game right now. My buddy G Zombie is in it. We'll maybe pay attention to him. It all depends where that directional camera is going to take us. Uh, as you can see from the early lineup here, we are definitely in bronze because to hell with tanks, they're not important. Even though tanks win games, why bother when you can just simply scale like a madman? And there's going to be a lot of scaling. Already we can see some pretty interesting things going on here. Uh, we've got two teleport heal characters. Uh, Velkaz and Akael. Not exactly known for their mobility. Ah, to hell with flashes. Not important. Uh, in the... Uh, wow, that is just... That is just bizarre. That is just bizarre. We've also got a Vi going into the jungle... With press the attack over whirlwind of blades, tailwind of blades, a little, little bit unique there too. Uh, so we're we're going a little bit off meta. That's all right. That is entirely okay. So let's see if we can get your interface. Okay. Oh, perfect, fantastic. Makes it easier for me. Makes it easier for everybody. Well, y'all don't care if it's easy. All right, so I'm not even honestly sure right now where everybody's going for their land assignments. This, this whole thing seems a little bit squirrely right now. Uh, all right, it does look like the vein is going to be going bot lane on red side. So that does mean we are looking at a flash exhaust ash in the top lane with lethal tempo. Interesting. Interesting. So that does mean it is going to be a support Nico with flash and heal to match the flash and heal of the vein. We've got Brand in the red lane as coming in as support. All right, they're able to get a little bit of chip damage there off the vein. Let's see what they can do. All right, flash is purged. Another flash is purged. Uh, that was not necessary at all. Velka start W should have started Q. That was uh, the standard start to it. We do have a Kled going to be coming in the mid lane for blue side. Looking at the Flash Ignite, okay. And, like I'd said, Kale Taw, Heal Teleport. Interesting. Let's see how much that gets punished. Alright, doing, uh, doing the start there for the Master Yi, the Flashless Master Yi, taking on that red buff, winning handily, doing his thing, starting with the Q. Alright, Ash is starting to harass, took the volley as a good start, see if you can get a little bit of chip damage in off that. Already we are looking at that level 2 cheese gang. Unfortunately, did not have any follow-up, but thankfully nothing blown for it. But don't, uh, don't stay here like a maniac. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on over there, and that is first blood for no apparent reason. Fantastic. Alright, so Velkov off to a good start. One CS, but one kill. Let's see if he's 20 and 20. Kale's getting ran down as she is down a level. Not much to trade back on as you were built to scale. You're waiting for level 16. Whatever's going on now is what's going on now. All right, we got a misfortune. Misfortune, perennial favorite, always fantastic. I see too many doing the E Max. Never do the E Max. Always do the Q Max. Even if you are taking the uh, Comet, which is the standard loadout for misfortune. All right, we're just trying to get a little bit of damage off there. Ooh, that's close. If you can get 
any bit more chip damage on that Nico pop down that ignite, that would be one dead uh chameleon girl? Not really sure what she's supposed to be. Alright, trades back a little bit of root, but you still got that health advantage in the lane. Alright, things are trying to even up. You are slowly getting ran down. Not really a big deal. Should probably stop turn that one real quick as you were about to proc the to tempo and start trading under turn. It's always good for you. Matthew is coming in. He's got himself ready to go. He is attacking oddly slowly. Not really sure what's going on with that. Unfortunately, due to the fact that he flashed for no apparent reason against the Vi early, he does not, in fact, get that kill. Why is sitting still at level 2? She's been ganking, now she's coming in, but girl, you are level 2, you just whipped, you should probably just die for free, you've got no abilities. What are you doing, Kale? You and the you could just run this bitch down. It is very, very free. The Ash can't come back, she has no teleport, it's not really like the uh, Velkos is going to be leaving lane. Kale don't stand there, now you're just giving it away for free, now she hit the level 3. Can you do anything? Got the Alpha Strike, got the kill, fantastic trade back. Oh, very nice flash auto, perfect, had the Ignite ticking down, ready to go, good play on the brand, ready to go. But you are... Somehow winning in CS into a ranged mid. I'm not really sure how that's going on either, but good job, Velko. You used to teleport to get back to lane successfully, and that's not it. Getting a little bit of chip damage coming back. We have taken a lot of balls out on this club there by going with the Doran Blade instead of Doran Shield into a pokey ranged mage. Either he's really confident in his ability, or he does not respect the Teleport Heal Velkos. I know that I wouldn't, because it's Teleport Heal Velkos. If you get on him, he has no way to live. There is no defensive capabilities at all, other than a slight move speed boost off the heal. Good rotation going down to the dragon. Hopefully, the uh, bot lane can do something. They did have cryo. Somehow, they're still letting this buy come on in. I don't know why nobody's rotating up and over the this. That's the whole point of having the man advantage of cryo, is you have four in the bot set. Miss Fortune, please do something other than what you're currently doing. All right. Nice, easy kill, ready to go, get a little bit of hammer down, ready to go, this Kled is just not afraid of anything. Vi ends up going with the E, does not stun anybody, Brand is not quite able to hit the stun, was able to at least hit a target, but has no mana available to follow up on anything else. Nico, he gets some chick damage, but girl, you are level 3, and I do not like your chances. Get the flash, don't want to get pulled back, Misfortune probably would have put a little bit of damage on you as your spells were down. Ash is currently building up a pretty sizable CS advantage. The skill is really waiting on hitting 6 to be able to even function and play the game. Right now she's playing sort of a game called League of I Don't Know What The Hell I'm Doing Up Here. Oh yes, walking around aimlessly. Maybe you'll get some autos off, but today is not that day. You are down 2 levels, and you do have teleport. You're probably going to TP back to lane, but apparently you did not. Not really sure why or what you're waiting for. But you did end up getting a corrupting hot. Not exactly my favorite choice right now, because you could have started in on one of your more valuable items, particularly going in for that nasty tooth, which is a brutally strong item on Kale. But granted, like I said, she does take some time to scale up. Not really sure why Brand is just standing there. Uh, you did have vision for a brief period of time. You probably could get a little burn off, but at least you were able to hit them with that. Fantastic Archie Dark Harvest stack. Only person running Dark Harvest, actually. A lot of people with the I'm not really sure what you think that's going to do, Velcos. You were able to dismount them, but you were completely oomed, can't follow in except for auto attacks, and have no ult. Uh, the good news about that, though, is that the Ted can't do anything back as you can simply auto them out of being in range to be able to actually get any of these bravery stacks and get that super calorie lizard back at you. Gotta be a little bit careful now. A few auto attacks could be something, but you also are playing fast and loose, not carrying at all, but you don't know where Vi is and you have zero wards up at all. Vi is somehow inside the blue jungle, stealing whatever it is she wants to steal. Master Yeet is doing Master Yeet things, by which I mean power farming, but it actually has more of a gank presence than the unfortunate uh, watching ganks of the uh, Vi, who has basically kind of missed most of her charged up cues, but he's getting there and he's definitely taking the jungle camps. Master Yeet, thankfully, 
intelligent enough to know that this is occurring, even though there's no wards pretty much anywhere on the map, and is trying to take some jungle camps back and trade. Alright, so Belkaz has slowly been added back, and Plant has absolutely refused to back and remount, or even be able to get on top of Skull at all. We're still looking at a pretty decent level change. Thank God that Bane ended up backing, because he would have been exploded by this misfortune. Unfortunately, this misfortune does not have the mana available to do anything. And Belkaz burns to death, no flash, no hope. Not really sure what the uh, the end plan was there. Velcos bought Surfer Greens. I don't know what's happening, but we are in peak bronze elo. All right, Vi, that's the pretty much what's happening off your decks. I've noticed is you just running bravely away as things go on. Uh, Kale, are you going to ult? You did not. Uh, I, I, I guess that's just how this goes. You also the target it wasn't you even attacked. Peak bronze. Fucking love this elo. Not gonna lie, this is this is probably my favorite elo because nothing that's happening makes sense, and yet things are still going on. Even though Cled is level seven, he finally, finally, has actually decided to purchase some things and is going with the Zerker griefs. Uh, uh, perhaps he's going Zerker griefs to match the auto attack potential coming out of his uh, mid lane Velcos with no flash. Maybe I don't know. There, there's a reasonable chance. I'm not really sure what Vayne and Eco thinks they're going to do, considering that they are down a level and are getting very much zoned off. Uh, we just kind of walked right back into that route. That's okay. We altered absolutely nothing, but we may as well finish off that channel, take the wave, do a little bit of work from there. Take uh, got the ult. Fantastic. Can you follow it with the Q? You did get that stud. You did get a whole bunch of bursts. You died for it, but you did take somebody down with you. That is just good times. Not really sure why the Misfortune didn't pop heal to save your life, or to run after, or to chase anybody down, as they have no sums, everyone left, they are a level down and very, very weak in this process. Somehow, though, still matching in CS. You know what? That two didn't look like it did an awful lot of damage. She is maxing it, but I'm not really sure what's happening. Oh, we are going to be doing the Mana Mure Mura Mana Starch with this fortune. I'm a very big fan of that build. It just seems to hit like a hammer. Uh, the other good thing is that normally it, it, it feels a little awkward to start off with that build uh, if you're getting pressured at all. This fortune, granted, probably third best ADC in the meta right now. Uh, number one, Kaisa. Number two, Jin. Uh, yes. It, she doesn't scale quite to the same point to say the vein or Stana. Uh, pretty much just a uh, vein is interesting, even Jinx, but they're just lesser um, uh, champions. They, they, they just don't have quite the same uh, play state. Why, why did you back instead of just going for that easy kill on this very out of position brand that just needs to get back home? You just got to get back home, buddy. You're going to die if that vein shows up. There's no need to be here. Not really sure why the misfortune ran around here either. What kind of trap you're planning on setting up? You don't have any waves crashing, and you're just kind of wasting your time. But that's all right, because the enemy team has a Zerker Grieve Velkos, and that is just really all I can say about that. I mean, why bother with sword shoes and actual damage when you can attempt to auto faster? Okay, that did nothing. Uh, how, how did your ult literally do nothing? You have a spell thief's edge. You have a control. Well, you, you have a support item, Velkos. Um, why, why do you have a support item? What is happening? I know this is bronze, but this doesn't make sense. Even for bronze. I've played against better bronze mids than this. I, I don't even know. But that's alright. Alright, so Vayne kind of just runs right on into the Brand Branch. Probably take a run away. There's no real need to be here any longer. Fantastic. Vyans have come again. Burns the ult out. Master Yi's coming in hard. Remember, though, that is a level 6 Nico. She is a tricky bitch. With that ult up, she can lock you down, get that shield. I hate Nico so very much, but yet she's a lot of fun. Uh, for, for a reason nobody knows, even though the tail is down 2 levels, she's now up 3 level. Cled refuses to back. Might explode for no apparent reason at all. He's very close to being dead. This would have been the point that Velkos actually would want to flash auto with the Zerker Greaves. Or in this case, even heal auto just to try and get something last off on this Velkos. Or on this Cled that has uh, zero health. 
Now he's back. Done playing it fast and loose. Good job. Channel up. What are you going to do, Vi? You missed as usual. Carrying on. Things are going good, but she is participating. Still doesn't have... Uh, still has three charges left on her jungle item at 13 minutes. Uh, it should be consumed by 8, maybe 9 at the latest. Uh, she has three charges left. I, I don't even know what is happening. Is she remembering to smite? Ah, she's got two charges now. Apparently she is fantastic. The problem is that you have actually very limited CC on the red side. You do have an E for the knockup. You do have a, uh, some uh, some CC out of the Ash, some CC out of the Vi. You do have some knockups. Not too much of it is point and click, ready to go easy. Uh, a lot of it is ultimate base. So it is going to be a little bit difficult, I think, for them to stop with a Fed Master Yi. The issue is that Master Yi is 402 and could potentially be quite problematic. Uh, Nico had a good try. She got that ult off, she got the shield, but unfortunately 3v2 with a 3 kill fled is going to be a bit of an issue. Master Yi comes in just for the CS cleanup because that's what Master Yi's do. Time for the most CS in the game. Uh, bot lanes are a bit of a weird. Uh, Kled clearly has no fear of anyone or anything at this point or any other. He is living his best life. Belkaz, uh, for no apparent reason, does in fact have two kills. Good job, Belkaz. The Zerf and Greaves are really paying off. Not really sure what item he's going to go with right now, but I'm very much hoping it's going to be a Lucas Echo. Very big fan of that. Please. As amazing as some of those other items like Leandries and all that are, uh, due to the fact that everybody on the blue side is so squishy they could die from a stiff breeze, you don't really care about max health burn and the pure burst capability and move speed of an item such as the Ludens is a little bit probably better in your favor. Alright, that was a big bit of gold going over to the Vayne. She is having a very good time. If Vayne does turn on, it's going to be a difficult moment for everybody. Currently, Justico is getting a participation trophy. Uh, she has actually had some pretty good roots. Not going to take nothing away from that at all. Uh, but sometimes you wonder how much of it is skill level and how much of it is horrible misplays from the other team. I am not discounting Red Team at all, they have absolutely fantastic scaling, not really sure where that Q was trying to go, but you somehow managed to hit the W. Props, but if you go a little bit too far, you might die. Not really sure why there was a flash involved in that, and you died for it. That was pure inting, and if I was in misfortune, I'd be a little bit pissed off right now. Alright, Velikos, you're ulting and doing absolutely nothing again, but you did get the Lost Chapter, which means uh, you did get the Blasting on, so you are going to Luton's Echo, fantastic. Still not sure what's going on with those Zilk degrees, I'm not going to lie, that that will confuse me for quite some time. You could have gone Sorks or God anything else. Plated just literally anything that, that Lucidity would have been better. Uh, I'm not really sure what's happening, but they are determined to go on this poor, poor vein. Oh, vain, we hardly knew ye. Run, misfortune, run. Uh, turn, misfortune, turn. You all took the wave again. Uh, I don't have a lot of faith off of her ults. Looks like she is going to be going Zerf Greaves. Meanwhile, Kanta just been able to free farm up here. Uh, again, not really sure what's going on, but from the looks of it, she's going straight into a rage blade, not even looking at that National Tooth, which is her actual damage spike to start getting online in the first place. Blue Dragon taken. Fantastic. So Ocean Soul is going to be on the table. Three drinks down at 17 minutes is nothing uh, to, uh, to be uh, disappointed about at all. Brand ended up taking a free Q over there. Uh, from the looks of things, nobody has really cared about Rift Herald. Rift Herald hasn't been uh, looked at, touched, uh, warded. Just that whole area. In fact, that, that entire section of the jungle has just remained an open wasteland of nothing. Not really sure what, what, what that was doing either, but you're participating, and that is important. Let's call those zoning tools. Again, very good roots coming in off of the Nico. Good job. You haven't done jack shit for anything else, but you are nailing those roots. Rage Blade finished and ready to go on the tail. With the Zerker, she's going to be swinging fast, but she's not going to be swinging for very much. It's going to be like getting lightly tapped with a whole bunch of marshmallows over and over and over. 
but eventually those marshmallows will simply swamp you. All right, finally somebody's looking at Rift Herald. I can take a sip of drink then. Thank you, Jesus. All right, red team is posturing in the mid lane. Uh, blue team is currently sitting in the... There's, there's two solo laners sitting in the top lane, even though the, they've lost mid lane and their Rift Herald has gone into the bot lane yet, too. Not really sure what the rotation was on that. Almost gets the stun. Did get some chip damage coming off that. Missed W. It was a, it was a wish and a prayer. Vine, he might have just suicided. I'm not really sure what the plan was there. Um, yeah, I'm really not sure what the plan was there. So meanwhile, they are able to free push up top because nobody has come and answered that because the vibe was determined to suicide. Bane, can you get that? Oh, so very close to being able to get that stun off. The Misfortune Alt finally on target does have the more mana. Is, I guess, going to the Zerker Breeze? I am a little bit curious as to what the Mythic is going to be. My money would be on Eclipse. I think that's probably the best build on her. And currently, Eclipse is very, very good. Close to get the key ram from the Kled. He, again, uh, testicles, massive, out in full force, is just balls deep into anything that kind of looks like it could be a target to gold or to hit. He just wants to hit anything and everything with a big stick. There is just no fear, no moving back, no nothing. All right, Miss Fortune, bet you had your alt up now, but unfortunately no alt. Good damage coming in off the brand. Heal came off of that. Double kill onto the vibe. Comes back, gets that triple pops. Finally, Bane flashes in. She really wants this. Of course, if you're running away from Bane, she's going to take you down with those tumbles and that natural passive. Uh, MF, you should probably have done something, anything else, like turn and fight due to the fact that you have a two-level advantage. There was no need to run away from that at all. Alright, so she's got the circus done, and from the looks of it, she is starting on, yes, that is going to be an Eclipse going up, because that is Serrated Dirt and Vamp Scepter. So that is going to be built. Kraken Slayer on the vein, very solid build with the Zerkers. Uh, Dagger coming in off the other side, so maybe going for a Rage Blade? I sincerely hope not. It actually does not synergize very well at all with what is going on. Rage Blade is an interesting, uh, interesting anti-synergy almost with the Kraken Slayer, as it doesn't proc the Kraken Slayer's extra passive hits, but it does work nicely off the of W shots from the Bane. However, with zero tanks on the blue side, doesn't exactly seem like the, the biggest bang for the buck to be able to get that in, although the attack speed always go nice. Maybe? Maybe not. Alright, so we're going for a lot more speed and a vamp scepter coming in off the tail of the top lane. I'm a little bit curious as to what the end build is going to be. Somehow this Ash does not have a single finished item, but has an absolute smorgasbord collection. She is a full tilt build a barrel workshop. Belkos, you finally got your ult off. It looks like it may have been doing damage. You went with Everfrost. Why, God, would you go with an Everfrost? That item is absolute garbage right now, as it doesn't really synergize for shit, and the stats off of it are worse than any of the other mythics here in the box. It just gives you less for nothing. Fantastic MF, you almost hurt people with your ult. We're getting there. She always just seems to be a little bit turned to the one side uh, and not actually doing damage. Although, maybe somebody walks in here for no reason, no real point for that tail ult, but the tail ult is down. The, uh, Brand is just kind of standing there, was able to get the turn kill back on the Nico, ended up using the flash for to get out to safety. Kind of worth it, I would say. So, Everfrost, I have an issue with. Yes, it slows people in a cone in front of you, but that's a really good item if you're running people down. Not so much if you're running towards them, and it kind of works maybe if you would have taken Glacial Augment, because it's about the only ability that works. The only activated ability, sorry, that actually triggers Glacial Augment anymore, as Glacial needs a rework. Blue team was trying to surrender, which makes absolutely no sense. I guess one of them was just a little bit pissed off that nothing happened. Or that somebody died out of anger, even though you were sitting on the Ocean Soul at 22 minutes, and there was really no way that Red Team can properly get back to this game if you keep going. 
but due to the fact that you are looking at an 11 kill master Yi, and as we all know, in low elo, you simply can't handle the Yi. You don't call a master, you call him mister, because, well, he's Mr. Big at that point. What, what, what are you going to do? Like, what is this, this 0 one zero, absolutely no participation Ash going to be able to do as any kind of value in these team fights? The most fed member on the enemy team was this Vi, and you just exploded for absolute freeness into this Yi that you know for a fact has another item ready to purchase and get into the crapshoot. Sitting on a Kraken Slayer Blade of the Rune King, you now can't outrun him, and nobody can outfight him. If you don't tank him on two to three on one, you're not going to have a good time. If you whip absolutely everything, wow, that's the most damage that MF has done to your ult at all, because Vayne kept walking back on in, doing fantastic. Meanwhile, Luigi is pushing hard up on the top. Belkon's huge LG of damage to keep them ever across. You might ask, why Why would you even ult for that? There was no reason, there was no more damage coming in jail, but you know what? Good on you, keep on keeping on. Clev doesn't care, Clev's gonna keep going. Blue Soul is gonna get them all right back up, good to go. Bane's gonna actually put the hurt on this Clev. That's probably gonna drop for free. What are you gonna do? Nothing, that's the thing. Kale, I sure bet you wish you had your ult right now. You could have stood and fought, but nope, there's no point to that either. Let's just put all the gold back onto his vein because he's the only one that can actually carry the game. Velkos is circling around. He's coming back. He's starting to put some kind of items together. The vein is definitely starting to turn on. I'm not really sure what the point of that flash was. I mean, yes, you were able to get on the MF. Still has used. That is some huge damage coming out from the brand. You just walked right into that for free, and that vein almost burns to death at the same time. So insanely close. If Brand would have had like a tiny, like a touch more damage, she would have just seen them all explode. The downside, of course, is what are you going to do about this mastery? I'm just really looking forward to seeing the answer that, you know what, that was actually a lot of damage coming out of that movie. I was not prepared for that at all. Uh, well, there was an eco there. There, there, there. there was a chameleon girl. Uh, but I didn't even move for that. It, was, it wasn't even like a fadeaway. And Vayne tumbled it into your W. Uh, you're probably... Nope, she's got no ult, she's got no flash, she's got no nothing. Good job, Vi. You are here with the participation award. Zelkov is going in. I'm still not sure what he's going to do, and I don't even know if he's used his active yet. Nope, okay, fantastic, you have to do shit, there's really no point in this. If you've got an active, if you've got an active on an item, and you have zero activations on it by the end of the game, please stop buying it, because clearly you're not getting any of the value on it. Big damage coming out of the brand, he ended up exploding forward. Uh, I'm not really sure why the uh, tail is, you know, alting, he's alting. Uh, and, and definitely at the time he's doing. Uh, meanwhile, this it, it, it feels very much like this Brad is doing way more kill participation and damage than this Misfortune, who is still just got the same items from about 10 minutes ago, hasn't bought shit. Why haven't you bought anything? You're not even farming. What 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 is even happening? Are you just waiting on a lucky random alt again? Maybe. She's got her alt. Oh, she was going to do it too, and it was probably going to miss. Meanwhile, this Master Yi has been completely undisturbed, un not, not stopped at all, and is just pushing very, very, very free. And now you've got tripping heads down. The enemy team has the Ocean Soul yet, too. They can, they've got the Baron. They've got literally everything but the Elder, which is coming up in a minute 14. Why haven't you surrendered that side? Like, I appreciate the fact you're giving us more of a game, but I don't really know where you think anything's going to happen from here, because if you engage, you lose. If you don't engage, you get choked out. You're kind of just going to die for free. Now, the win condition at this particular point would be the faster you completely suicides, runs into base for no reason, does that five more times, and the rest of red side uh, gets lucky, and blue side DDoSs like three people, and, and then it's okay. Oh, nope, we got more kills onto the brand. Okay, so so there's just nothing. Well, that was good. 
I'm going to say decent thoughts. You know what? 27 minutes, 10k difference. Uh, 11 towers to 1, 4 dragons to none. Okay, it was a one-sided beatdown. Now, yes, I'm going to say that the two laners that ended up coming out with the teleport heal, probably not the best play. I'm going to say that bot lane was definitely a disparity. You had the better support off the brand than the ego, but you had the better ADC off the vein than the MF. The big problem was, though, that Master Yi just scales better, and I'm not really sure what the hell any of the other laners were doing, because this was not a close game, but the kills were actually pretty even. Alright, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed watching along. Uh, I had a blast at this game, because a lot of it didn't make any goddamn sense. I'm still not really sure what the, you never used it once. Uh, you have Zerkers, and a Shard of True Ice. Did you, did you not know that you're a mid lane Valkos? What did you think you were with this build? I don't know, and neither does he. Anyways, hope you have yourselves a good one. If not, you know, fuck you.